Schistosomiasis is a very, very prevalent parasitic infection, mostly in the developing world. And part of the reason for that is that it's tied with poverty. The reason people need to go into the water, into the fresh water, the rivers and streams where this parasite is transmitted is because they lack alternatives, they lack piped water, they lack access to safe water, and they must keep going back and getting reinfected with this parasite. When we treat these people with the you know, drug to get rid of the parasites, these drugs are super effective and work very well. But the day after, people go back to the river and get infected again and reinfected over and over again. So uh, basically, the drug administration programs might reduce the burdens but are not able to eradicate the disease. Our project uh, was uh, basically to test whether the reintroduction of a once native prone, which is a sort of a big shrimp with big claws uh, that uh, used to live in the water of the Senegal River, you know, might uh, basically help us to control the abundance uh, of the uh, snails that amplified these parasites. We've shown very clearly that prawns eat snails, that they eat them in the laboratory, they eat them in the field under natural conditions in a river which is truly infected with schistosomiasis where people are living their daily lives, that that reduction in snails translates to reduction in disease in people. So more prawns equals fewer snails equals fewer parasites in the water and that means lower risk for people. Our newly established Center for Disease Ecology, Health and Development, we want to leverage on our uh, uh, study case in Senegal to understand uh, what other uh, diseases might be basically addressed through uh, the identification of ecologically based wealth generating solutions.